<coughs> media issues. Yeah. So good evening, sir. Sir, in today's era, sir, there is no denying about the importance of media, sir. In this digital age, sir, the battleground has shifted from fields to feet, sir. Now everything happens on X, Twitter. So my request to all secretaries is that INPR is not a standalone department. It is an integrated department to all secretaries. Please treat me as your own HOD and utilize my service to the fullest. Sir, uh, we have come out with a media strategy, sir, which is based on four pillars, sir. The first is countering the false propaganda, sir. Sir, if we don't say that it is a false news or it is a lie, then people will think that this is truth. So it is very important that we must say that this is a lie and we need to bring the correct facts to the media, sir. Otherwise, a separate narrative will be run on the same facts. Sir. The second pillar is feedback loop for improving governance. Sir. Definitely, sir, in any policy, there will be certain gaps. Sir. We need to identify those gaps and do constructive criticism, learn from the field and improve it through the feedback which is coming from the media. Sir. Third, sir, pillar is educating the public. The government is doing large number of good things, good schemes are being run, but the public is not aware. So we should use the media to ensure that all this information reaches to the cutting edge. Sir. And the last but not the least is building the brand of the government. Government is a brand and we have to highlight the success stories, the good things which are happening on the field and how the life of people is being changed at the village level. And this should be highlighted not at the state level, but also at the national level, sir. So on the basis of this, I have few suggestions for the collectors and SPs, sir. Sir, we need to first at the district level create a full fledge media and event monitoring team, sir. It cannot be an ad hoc team, sir. I think, sir, the collector or the SP should put his best team, best person as in charge of this team, sir. This team should 24 by 7, it should get feedback on the things which are happening in the district and at the same time, what is likely to happen in the next couple of days, sir. The, the next thing is, sir, the in, we need to ensure the facts about the in for any event which comes into the media within 30 minutes. In this digital era, sir, we don't have more than 30 minutes available with us. So the responsibility lies on the collectors and SP to immediately find out whether the information is correct or not. If it is correct, then they should take corrective action. If it is wrong, they should tell the media that what is wrong and deny it and give the right facts. So fourth thing is response mechanism. Collectors and SP are very senior officers. So they have to understand the veracity of the issue if the issue can be handled by a Tesseldar or a CI, he should respond. If it has to be handled by a DSP or a RDO, he should respond. And if it is a difficult issue, the collector or SP himself has to respond. But definitely someone has to respond on the issue. If you don't respond, so, uh, media will start writing their own narrative, their own side. So responding is very important, sir. Next important suggestion is seamless coordination with CMO and INPR. Sir. We need to get right information at the right time. So today, national media is very much interested in Andhra Pradesh. A simple issue will become district issue, straight issue, and within hours, it will become a national issue. So we need that right information coming at the right moment, sir. So this seamless coordination is very important. And last but not the least, collectors and SPs travel extensively. They see so many good things happening. We need to talk positive about the government. We need to highlight these good things which are happening in the district. And if we are, we come to know, we'll create testimonials. We'll prepare those human stories and tell the outer world about the good things which government is doing, sir. So these are my suggestions, sir. Sir, if you permit uh, the AI tools, sir, I would like to show everyone, sir. So uh, AI tool has been prepared under the guidance of our Honorable CM. This is the brainchild of our Honorable CM. From the conception, design, planning and development has been done directly under the guidance of our Honorable CM. This AI tool acts as a repository of the entire social media and print media in the digital platform. Anything which is present in the digital space is captured by this AI tool. It helps in understanding it automatically extracts the topics from social media and print media. The topics get automatically classified 
across ministries, departments, and districts. It also helps in creating heat maps, which is helpful for trend analysis. And finally, it also gives sentimental analysis. So I'll keep a couple of minutes to show the tool. So, sir, this is today's news, sir. As on 5th of August, there are 279 topics which are being talked about Andhra Pradesh government, sir. This, have, this includes print media and also include digital media. 38.37% are talking positive about the government. 20% of the articles are talking anti about the government. And 41 are neutral, sir. So, this is auto-generated, sir nothing manual in it and this tool was able to segregate it and bring it across ministry wise sir so we can see agriculture 16 topics are there panchayati ra 16 health 15 like this sir this color green green shows positive sentiment red shows negative sentiment and yellow shows neutral sentiment so sir as i was saying that this heat map analysis so if we see, this is the analysis between 17 July to 28 July. In the last that two weeks, GAD in week two got 118 topics, week three 261 topics. There can be positive also, negative also. It is both, sir. In home affairs, 109 topics and uh, week three 170. So this is analysis week wise for every department, sir. This also give subject-wise analysis like law and order related 84, Panchayati Raj 46, deficiency of services 43, complaints 35, mining issues 27. We can go drill down further and see that what were the topics which were being spoken more in this time, sir. So and also the source. Like Madanpalli subcollectorate fire incident was the maximum talked about. ABN Andhajoti was talking about it. Inadu was talking about it. Sakshi was talking about it. And Instagram was also talking about it. Like flooding in Godavari River. So by this tool, we know who is talking from where the information is coming. So it also shows district wide analysis. If we see in the last that two week cycle, Maximum issues were reported from uh, Vizac and Vijayanagaram in this area, this 164. Then uh, Ch uh, Chittur 143, Amravati being the capital, now some state issues also get associated to it. So 205 were the issues at the Amravati level, sir. It also gives cross analysis of the district, sir. On the right hand side, this is the heat map which shows district wise and subject wise analysis. It helps us to understand that maybe one particular scheme is doing well in some district, but it is not doing well in some other districts. So like mining may be an issue in some place and mining may not be an issue in some place. So it actually helps the department to point out exactly where sh issues are going wrong. Sir, we are also further working on it. It will also give the reasons why things are going wrong. Is it a HR issue? Is it a technology issue? Or it is systemic issues? Sir, if you permit, I would. Uh, I can I show your dashboard, sir. So this is the dashboard of Honorable CM. So we'll see today what has happened. So if we see today, 279 topics were generated for today. 109 have come from social media, and 170 have come from print media, sir. So social media is 71% people on social media are talking positive. 15% are talking negative and 12% is neutral. In print media, 36 is talking positive, 21 is negative and 42% is neutral, sir. Honorable, as per the instructions of Honorable CM, we have classified these across the secretaries and also uh, ministry-wise. So if we see, suppose health department. So if we see what are the top five topics on which health department people are talking. So there is a fever outbreak in Santakviti Mandal, viral fever in Jilugimili Mandal in Eluru district, infrastructure issues in hospitals, death of children in Chintur Mandal, sale of stored meat and fish, 
negligence, negligence at Geetam Hospital. So this 100 means this is uh, majority of the people. Almost everybody is talking neg negative about this incident. So this is about this is like one department. So this is a great tool which has been prepared by our honorable CM, which will help the departments to act on a real time basis. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we will now go to the DGP who will make a presentation on the law and orders.